Hey guys, so in this video we're going to be looking at the cosine ratio. So the cosine ratio is a trigonometric ratio and what it tells us is it says that if we know our sides are adjacent and our hypotenuse then it's going to let us work out our angle theta. So if we remember we have this adjacent side here. So our adjacent side and it was our adjacent side because it was next to our angle theta and then we had our hypotenuse and this was our hypotenuse this green side hypotenuse because it was our longest side so I'm gonna call my hypotenuse H and I'm gonna call my adjacent side this A so the cosine ratio says that if our adjacent side divided by our hypotenuse so divided by our hypotenuse forms a certain ratio, then we can use that ratio to work out what our angle is going to be. So we can use the angle of our the ratio of our adjacent divided by our hypotenuse to work out what we call the cosine of an angle theta. So all this probably isn't very clear, but if we start putting some examples to it, it, it might get a little clearer. So if we say our adjacent side has maybe a length of 15 and our opposite side has a length of 10, then we can use Pythagoras to work out that our hypotenuse is going to have a length of 18.02. So what the cos ratio says that if we have this cosine ratio, this angle can only occur in one way such that our side length of 15 divided by our side length of 18.2. So there's only one angle that will allow us to have this ratio. And if we think about it, that kind of makes sense. Uh, if we say increase the length of our hypotenuse, so we say change the length of our hypotenuse, but we keep the length of our adjacent side the same, so we keep the length of our adjacent side the same, then it's going to change this angle here, right? But if we say double the length of our hypotenuse, and we double the length of our adjacent side, so we double the length of both of them. So our hypotenuse goes from being 18.02 and it goes to being 36.04, and our adjacent goes to being 30 centimeters, sorry, 30 centimeters. Then the angle is going to same, stay the same because the ratio is the same. So 30 divided by 36.04 is the same ratio as 15 divided by 18.02 so we can work out that the angle is going to be the same. So we, the way we solve for this angle and we'll do them one at a time is we say that okay if we have this angle theta so our cosine of this angle theta occurs in this ratio such that 15 divided by 18.02 gives us a ratio and we can work that out and we can say the ratio is 0.8324. So we're saying that this cosine ratio of our angle theta equals 0.8324. Well, what we can say is that our cos theta equals 0.8324. But we're not interested in the cosine of our angle theta. We're purely just interested in what this angle itself is. So we can say the angle, we can take the cosine of both sides. So this will be tricky if you haven't seen it done before, but we take the inverse cosine, which is cos negative 1, of our cosine, and that's going to be equal to the cos negative 1 of our point 0.8324. So what's going to happen now is these two cosines are going to cancel out. So that cosine will cancel with that cosine, and we'll be left with this angle theta is equal to the inverse cosine of 0.8324. So now we can just put that into our calculator. So we have this angle theta, we can work out this angle here by typing in cos negative 1, 0.8324. So on your calculator you'll find a button which is this cos negative 1. So you'll find a cosine function which doesn't have the negative one 
and then you'll find a cosine function which has the negative one. So because we want to find this angle, we want to press the cosine negative one button and then type in 0.8324 in parentheses. So what we can see is that our angle theta is going to be equal to 33.69 degrees. So when you're calculating this, a common mistake is that you might have your calculator in radians mode. So if you have it in radians mode, that's going to give you a completely different answer. So what you want to make sure you do is you have your calculator in degrees mode. So always check that you have your calculator in degrees mode before you type in this function. So I'll say that this angle theta is equal to 33 point, oops, 63.69 degrees. And that's when we have a side length of our adjacent of 15 and a hypotenuse of 18.02. But we can check this just to make sure that it's consistent. So we know that it works when we have, say, a side length of 15 and 18.02, but I said that it would also be the same if we had any adjacent side or any hypotenuse in the same ratio. So what if we double it? So we scale everything up by a factor of two. So our newest adjacent side length is 30, and our new hypotenuse length is going to be, whoops, our new hypotenuse length is going to be 36.02, or 04, sorry. Well, we know our cosine ratio is going to stay the same. So we have our adjacent, and we divide that by the hypotenuse. So our new cosine ratio, so our cos of theta, is going to be equal to 30 divided by 36.04. And we can say 30 divided by 36.04 is 0.8324. And if we look at it, we have cos theta is now equal to 0.8324. And if we look, that's the exact problem which we had before, right? So now we can just do the exact same steps. So we take the inverse cos of our cosine of theta. And then we take the inverse cos of the other side. So we say cos negative 1. 0.8324 and then what we're going to see again is our cosine here is cancel and we'll end up with our theta is equal to the inverse cos of 0.8324 and if we just solve that out making sure our calculator is in degrees mode then we're going to find that we get an angle theta equal to 33.69 degrees so, so long as this ratio is consistent, you know, we could double the side length again. I'm not going to have room here, but just imagine we could double the side length again. The ratio is going to be the same. The ratio of this side divided by this side, our adjacent divided by our hypotenuse will be constant. So we can continue to use our cosine, providing that ratio is constant. So the tricky thing people usually find is, you know, working out when you use the cosine ratio versus your tangent ratio or your sine ratio. So someone a long time ago came up with a little idiom for it or a rhyme and it says our cosine ratio is equal to our adjacent side divided by our hypotenuse. So when you're trying to remember the cosine ratio, C for cosine, ka. Just remember ka and you should be able to remember your cosine is equal to your adjacent divided by your hypotenuse. So that's how we do a cosine ratio problem to work out an angle guys. Remember, it does have to be for a right-angled triangle. I'll put out some problems for you to have a go at. Thanks.